guys, welcome to my channel. Okay. This is Shima, my guest. <laughs> Can you see yourself good? What is up, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have my mama here. Hello. <laughs> she is going to be doing her coquito recipe. Now, just a little disclaimer. Before we get into the video, I know everyone has a different way of doing coquito. Some put like egg, I think, right? Some people put egg in it. There's tons of different ways you can do it, but today, this is our version of how we do it. So feel free to adjust, add whatever you like, do whatever you want. We just wanted to share this yummy, quick, and easy way to do coquito. Coquito is usually done around this time, right? Yes, correct. The holiday times. So, yeah. We're gonna get into the video. You ready? Yes. <laughs> this is my mom's first time. Well, like, I mean, you guys have seen her before in the vlogs, but like, this is her first time here. Are you just gonna smile the whole time? <laughs> okay, so we can go over the ingredients right now. Okay, okay. you should put um, cream of coconut right here. Ta-da. And you guys don't have to get the exact same brands. You can get whatever you find. Leche de coco, right here. Evaporated milk. And just so you guys know, I will leave all the ingredients down below so you guys can see how much we put of everything. And condensed milk. You could use any brand. Yeah, doesn't have to be this one that we're showing, like Publix. <laughs> but any brand. And then cinnamon. We have some cinnamon and vanilla extract and then vanilla ice cream. So let's get into the video of how we're gonna make all this. Oh, and the most important thing. Oh yeah, and the most important thing, the rum, the alcohol, baby. Now, I, I don't know, I feel like everyone usually uses this brand, Bacardi, um, but it just tastes the best. You don't wanna put something that has like flavor rum. We're, we're just regular basic rum. Okay guys, so I had to change up the setup a little bit so you guys can see what we're working with here. So, the you want to explain what you're going to put first? Ta-da! If you do want to like make more, like more batches, just you just double everything, right? Correct. Okay. And if you see that there's like chunks of coconut, just take a whisk and just get rid of that. So as you can see, let me just see if I can... You see how there's like little... There's little chunks in there. I don't know if you can see that, but you're just gonna whisk that away. Coconut milk. Leche de coco. Ooh, she thick. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna go like with the carnation milk. One can as well. Ooh. Oh my god, it smells so good already. Nothing's even in here. We're gonna put the condensed milk. Uh, leche condensada, right? Yes. That's how you say it. One can. This one is a little um, thick, so I use a little spatula to take out everything from inside the can. Everyone has like so much different ways of, of making this. I just feel like, personally, I don't like egg in my coquito. I know that's usually like the more traditional way to do it. How long can this last in the fridge, by the way? Oh, for a long time. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Can it, like more than a month? Like what's the time span? Yeah, more than a month. Okay. Uh, and also, um, since the condensed milk is a little sweet, you could put less, you know, if you don't like the really sweet. Now we're gonna sprinkle a little cinnamon. We don't really measure here, but as you can see, we're just doing like five shakes maybe. Yeah. Maybe six shakes. I'll show you guys right now how it's looking. So with the added cinnamon, as you can see, it's like how many shakes? Like five or six shakes? Yeah. So it's like five or six shakes here and you just want to blend that in. It looks crazy right now, but I promise it's going to taste amazing. Now we're going to go with half a teaspoon of vanilla. Just half a teaspoon, guys. Now this is something that we do. Yeah, um, not everybody does this. Usually <laughs> put um, some vanilla ice cream. Again, this is our version. However you guys want to make it, you know, don't be coming for me. Like, that's not how you make it. This is how we make it, guys. Everyone's different. Our ice cream's a little melted right now, <laughs> but that's fine because it's going to melt anyways. 
So one more for good luck. One more. Yes. And that's it. And then, like I said, you just want to whisk this. So everything is getting dissolved, and then after you put the alcohol. The alcohol you put to your liking. We don't like it really, really strong. We like it in between, mm -hmm. so we put a little less. Yeah. But some people could put like half a bottle. You know, it depends. Yep. I think we do a good amount. Like it's it's yeah. enough where you taste it. I just like I don't like it when it's too overbearing, where all you taste is the alcohol, and not like the sweetness of it. You see, everything is like already combined. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy, exactly. As you put it, you taste it to see how strong you want it. Exactly. If you want it really juicy, all right, let's go. That's it. All right, well, we have to add your right, right. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Sorry, sorry. Because sometimes you don't really feel it, but in then when you're drinking it, that's when you. Yeah, that's when you like really, really feel it. Guys, if you do make this at home, can you just like tag me on Instagram at oh hey shy, please? Because I promise you it's so easy. It's such simple ingredients and it's great for gifts as well. We're gonna show you how we put it really cute as well at the end, so stay tuned. Oh my God, that is good, but we need more. You need more? Yeah, okay. 100%. Tell me when to stop. Far we've used only that much. It's good. Mm. It's good. Yes. Is it juicy? I actually. You can put a little more if you want, but I poop. You can taste it. Okay. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. Cause and then when the, when you put it in the refrigerator, um, all the all the ingredient ingredients just combine with each other, and you really taste tastes good. Yeah, trust me. So we're gonna use these bottles for right now. I didn't think that these had the little blue things on them, but they do. <laughs> and these are the only ones I have or that I could find right now. But um, like I was saying, this makes great gifts for the holidays. For example, if you don't really know what to give that person. What better gift than alcohol? I mean, come on. And Coquito is great. It's made with love. And we're gonna decorate them with these little Santa hats. And you can also add a bow. And they make great little gifts. And don't pull it up all the way to the top. Just leave a little space so you can, um... Oh, so you can add rum if you need to add rum. And so you can shake it, right? Yes. So as you can see, we have our little bottle of coquito right here. You wanna make sure, like my mom said, to leave enough room to shake it or to add alcohol. And then I found these little hats on Amazon. Just put on a little hat. That's so cute. And... Ta-da! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! I love it, it's so cute. And then you can just add a little bow. The little blue clovers are killing it right now. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. And like I said, they make great gifts as well. So you just have your little bottle of coquito and you keep it in the fridge, not the freezer, right? No, the fridge. You keep it in the fridge and you're good to go. So we poured ourselves a little cup so we could have an actual proper taste test. I only had these bottles, so that batch made three bottles, basically. Three of these little bottles. If you use one of the larger ones, it'll make two big large ones basically <laughs> and then like i said the little hats are from amazon look how cute cheers so now we're gonna go ahead and do a proper taste test cheers mama cheers. okay Ooh. Mm. Mm. that's good And when you let oh, it, it is really good. And right when you let it sit, like everything's gonna combine. You feel the alcohol more. Mm -hmm. Because it's nice and cold. Mm. Mm. That's another thing. When it's cold and you put it in the fridge, and like the next day you taste it, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> this one's really good. <laughs> so again, guys, if you do 
decide to make my recipe, please go ahead and tag me on Instagram at oh hey shy. Like I said, this is our little family recipe. So if you guys do like it and you try it, I would love to see your thoughts and everything about it. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Mom, any last words? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you in next week's video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, join the family. Please go ahead and check me out at Oh Hey Shy and have a great, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Yas. See you in next week's video. Bye. Bye.